going in, just in here from brick, right? So, we've got the walls up all around the back behind Fraser, all Emma up. So we've got these lines in now, and these dictate where the driveway finish is. So we've got that one there, and we've got this one here. So to set that line up, we've got that in the bottom for the brickwork down there, look. That's just slightly out of level between left and right. So when their eco drains go in, they can fall this way like that into the gully that we got down the bottom. So the, the left hand side is level to the four stone you've put in. So that's an easy line. So you've got a lot of ground to build up. Now when you do these driveways, the critical thing to do is to be able to get a decent amount of base underneath it. How many times have you seen the, like a paved driveway just sunk? So you've got to get a decent amount of base. And you can see that here. We've got a good amount of fill in there. And we've got a good amount of fill in here. It's 300 mil there. So you've got a good 200 mil of scalping. It's not 150, just a little bit more than normal, which is what we always do. Just put a bit more in. And then if you turn around this way, like, uh, right, and you see where it's coming in up here, and you can see the bigger, and you can see the, uh, the load is ready. Are you excited to get rid of that, Brian? Yeah. It's what, 20, 23 degrees today, so it's going to be a challenge. So uh, we we'll get cracking and we'll show you some more in a minute. Cheers. Hey, he's finally on the barrow. Shut up, I've done all that. It's half a barrow, that is anyway. Look I've at him. Straight in the easy end. How many barrows have I done, right? There you go. <laughs> you only done it for YouTube. absolutely fantastic bacon in Wales so what we're doing is we've just whacked this now very important that you whack your bases in levels so say we're going for 200 mil thick which is what we are you want to whack it 100 mil get the whack and plate all over it like crab's just done and then fill up then another 100 or so mil on top and whack, whack it in layers so these are our lines we're 100 mil from the line down now and that gives us 50 mil for our paving Marshall's uh, savannas, which is what we're using, and then 50 mil for sharp sand or a grano or a stone dust base. So we've got this, that's the correct height for the MOT type one, that's the correct height there, and then when we've got the two sides, we'll just fill the middle in, knowing that that's our level and that's our level. So stay watching, more to come. Top tip for you when you're working out in the sun, um, wet your hard foot like I'm doing now. Because uh, you, want, you want dust flying everywhere and it wax much better when it's wet. Absolutely bang on the mini. And look at, what, look at the weather we've got here in Wales today. Look at that. Absolutely no clouds in the sky. So there we are, Freight. Top tip. Whack your hardcore. Stop the dust going up into your face and it actually wax better. So well done, Freight. Cheers, mate. Driveway. We've brought all this in. We've had about 20 tons of MOT type 1 in here, and there's 200 mil thick. So, what we've done now, look, we've put all this in, and we've got 100 mil below the line there, and we've got 100 mil there on the line. So, what that enables us to do is we've got 50 mil now of sharp sand, which we've got up there to bring in. And then we've got 50 mil of the, like I said, the Marshall's pavement to go on. So all this has gone in meticulously. We've got lines up, all it's been leveled out in the right place. So the base is in, it's been whacked and whacked and whacked in many different levels. So it's absolutely solid. So it's good to go. Um, we can get the sand in now, start getting some screen lights down, start getting the paving in, and uh, we'll show you some there. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. But uh, more to come, so stay watching. We've got to put a weed membrane in as well. I mean, we put 200 mil in a base underneath, but in saying that, we put a weed membrane in and we double lapped it, overlapped it. There's more than enough in here now, and we will do it around the side when we come to the side, but not there yet. 
So all I've been, uh, got a good weed membrane in there, now that'll stop any weeds right below the scalpins coming up through. So that's that done. So we're on to the sand bit now, get the sand in and put that in and uh, we're on a lovely day again. So we're being spoiled. So hopefully, hopefully it lasts and the thunderstorms miss us. So uh, see you soon. You have to excuse the hat and the glasses. It's absolutely boiling here, Brad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely sweltering, which is good. We're not moaning, it's great. So what we've done now, we've put these uh, screed rods in. We just used a piece of roofing batten, like a bit of a two by one roofing batten. Um, put them in, you've got your line set up here. So you just measure down from your line, 50 mil, which is the height of your paving. Don't know where that's gone. So we'll show you some of that in a minute. You get that the same both sides off your line, and then you just get a bit of three by two, straight, make sure it's straight, and just screed back, and your surplus, just pull that back now. And then um, once we've got this section done, we're gonna start laying. So uh, that's the next bit, see you then. We're coming along nicely now. So these are Marshalls. I love Marshalls, great products from uh, from Marshalls. Never had a problem with them. So that's a Marshalls Savannah block paving. Uh, in three different sizes, so lovely colours on it, really, really nice. So we're coming through with that now. So we're just getting this sand, sharp sand, down in here set out. So um, we'll keep showing you. So uh, keep watching. See you in a bit. Then me and Fraser just finished this. As you can see now on the on my left side, Justin's right. We've just done the screen rod filled in. I'm always right, Brad. You're always right. Wrong. <laughs> now just now on the left side is Justin starts laying. We go fill in that side as we're going so you can't get to it now. So fill that little gap in there. Yeah. Where the button was. So old man, start laying. Old man? Old man. I'm only 34. Had hard life, Brad. Yeah, you're young, 59 you are. I've had hard life, mate. Working with you, see, all this work, all this extra work you're giving me. You want some warm, really. Yeah. Don't yeah, and we've got to say, being Welshman, the three of us here, really well played Wales last yeah. night, wasn't it? Huh? They smashed them. 2 0 against the Turkish. How would you like it, Brad? It was good, wasn't it? Bill played awesome. Bill, uh, Ramsey. 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 Done yeah, well. everyone played awesome, didn't they? <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said that. Um, England are not crap. We'll uh, we'll leave it there. Brad, you're going to get absolutely ruined for that, mate. I don't matter. I absolutely don't, I don't, ruined. I don't look at the comment section. Anyway, there's the uh, there's the screed. Uh, sorry about Brad's comments for that. Scotland are going to do better than England this year. <laughs> <laughs> You've set the gauntlet down now. Oh, Everybody's yeah. going to be slating you. But if, if the English beat the Scottish now, you're going to have an absolute bombardment on you now. I don't care because I don't support Scotland. Just Wales. Oh, you're, you're, you're bombarding Scotland now, and no, you're going to have the Scottish on you now and all. The Scottish to do better than the English. You want the Scottish to do better than the English? Of course I do. Says says that from a Welshman. That old that old rivalry, that old banter. That's all it is. So nobody take offence to it before we get bombarded. Good luck to all the home nations. In the, in the championship, and uh, we're going to lay some more now. So, uh, show you some more in a bit. So, to fill this in where the screed rod was, we just put that in there like that. Put that in there. Make sure you pat it down, and you're away to go. So, that's that. And then with these, Put the border down going that way the opposite way and then with these you just you want to avoid a straight joint can you see that joint there phrase you want to avoid a straight joint so you're just trying to get them to get some kind of bond on it without getting a straight joint on it so when you put them in you want to make sure every now and again that you put them tight so they're all tight to each other so in no particular order Get them in and keep laying. So there we are. Look, if you put that in there like that now, you've got a straight joint. So that's what you don't want. So don't lay that one. Lay that one. See how I'm managing to get them all in tight. 
we've got three sizes. One, two, three, that's the sizes. Now get the old foot that row, just start. Start all over again. Use more of the squares you said, Bryce, yeah? Yeah. So every now and again, just get your hammer, just double check, you're tight, and you're tight that way, because you want it to be as tight to the wall and as tight to it as you possibly can. the end of this video now so you can see we've done all this um, we'll show you what it's like when we finish on the next video so there are new phone coming so we need to end the video now so wish me luck with the new phone because technology is not my strong point phrase is it <laughs> you probably have to show me how to do it mate won't you yeah probably have to show me how to switch it on anyway enjoy the weather enjoy the football no matter what team you support always nice to have a bit of banter with the uh, with the people from the home nations and other teams so Brad apologize for saying what you said Oh, thank you. No. <laughs> so anyway, good luck to everybody and um, see you on the next one. Cheers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.